On the bank of some river, there was a big tree. On that tree lived a monkey. The tree bore very sweet fruits, which the monkey would eat and enjoy heartily. One day, a crocodile came from somewhere near the tree on which the monkey lived. The monkey asked from the tree, Who are you, brother? I am Crocodile. I have come from very far. I am wandering in search of food. There is no shortage of food here. This tree bears a lot of fruits. When he said this, the monkey plucked some fruits and threw them towards the crocodile. Wow! They were very juicy. The monkey threw more fruits. I will come back tomorrow. Will you feed me some more? Why not? You are my guest. Come daily. The crocodile promised to return the next day and went away. Now the crocodile used to come daily. The monkey and the crocodile would eat the fruits to their heart's content and chat for hours together. While chatting, the monkey said, Crocodile, I'm alone in this world. I'm very fortunate to find a friend like you. I am not alone. I have a wife at home. My home is on the opposite bank of the river. Why didn't you ever mention before that you had a wife? I would have sent fruits for your wife too. When the crocodile was leaving, the monkey plucked the ripe fruits for his wife. That day, the crocodile took the fruits given by the monkey for his wife. The crocodile's wife loved the fruits. Please get some juicy fruits for me daily. Slowly and steadily, the monkey and the crocodile became very good friends. The crocodile would go to meet the monkey daily, eat fruits to his heart's content, and take back fruits for his wife. The crocodile's wife would like eating the fruits. But she disliked that her husband would return home late. She wanted to put an end to this. One day she said, I think that you are lying to me. Have you ever heard a crocodile and monkey being friends? A crocodile kills and eats monkey. The crocodile's wife was very clever. She thought, if the monkey eats such sweet fruits daily, how sweet would his flesh be? If they could eat that, it would be wonderful. By thinking this, she told her husband, Bring your friend home one day. I want to meet him. No, no. This is not possible. He is a terrestrial animal and would drown in the water. At least invite him. Monkeys are intelligent. He would find out a solution to come here. The crocodile did not want to invite the monkey. But his wife would ask him daily that when would the monkey come? The crocodile would make an excuse every time. As the days passed by, the crocodile's wife's wish to eat the monkey was increasing. Then the wife thought of an idea. One day, she pretended to be sick and started shedding tears as if she was in a lot of pain. The crocodile was very sad that his wife was sick. He sat beside her and said, Tell me, what should I do for you? I am very sick. When I asked the doctor, he said, until I eat a monkey's heart, I will not recover. Monkey's heart? Yes, monkey's heart. If you want me to be healthy again, then you'll have to get your friend the monkey's heart and feed me with that. How can I do this? He is my only friend. How can I kill him? All right then. If you love your friend more, then go and live with him only. You want to see me dead. <laughs> the crocodile was in a dilemma. He was unable to understand that what he should do. If he gets the monkey's heart, then his good friend would be dead. Or else his wife would die herself. He started crying and said, 
<laughs> I have only one friend. How can I take his life? Tell me that. So what? You are a crocodile and crocodiles kill living beings. The crocodile started crying loudly. His mind had stopped working. But he knew one thing, that a husband must take care of his wife. He decided to save his wife at any cost. Thinking this, he went to the monkey. The monkey was waiting for the crocodile. Why, friend? What took you so long to come? Is everything all right? I and my wife had a fight. She says that I'm not your friend, as I have not invited you home. She wants to meet you. She has insisted that you accompany me. If you will not come with me, then she will fight with me again. <laughs> this is such a small matter. Even I wanted to meet your wife. But how can I come in water? I will drown. Don't worry about that. I will make you sit on my back and take you. The monkey agreed. He came down the tree and leapt on the crocodile's back. When they reached the middle of the river, instead of moving ahead, the crocodile was going to dip in the water. Seeing this, the monkey was afraid and said, whoa, 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 What are you doing? If you go in the water, then I'll drown and die. I will go under the water. I have brought you to only kill you. On hearing this, the monkey was perplexed. He said, Why, brother? Why do you want to kill me? What bad have I done to you? My wife is ill. The doctor has advised just one thing. That if she eats a monkey's heart, only then will she survive. There are no other monkeys around here. So I will feed your heart to my wife. First, the monkey was completely bewildered. Then he thought, only quick thinking can save his life. My friend, why did you say this before? I would sacrifice my heart happily to save your wife. But my heart is hanging on the tree by the river. I keep it there for safety. Uh, if you would have informed me before, then I would have got it along with me. Oh, so that's the matter. Yes. Let's go back quickly or else your wife's illness might worsen. The crocodile started swimming back towards the tree and reached there very quickly. On reaching the bank, the monkey leapt and reached the tree. And mockingly, he said to the crocodile, <laughs> Go back, you foolish, go back home. Tell your evil wife that you are the most foolish crocodile in the world. <laughs> Can someone separate his heart and keep it aside? <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story is do not be too greedy. Subscribe our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon to watch new videos. Like, comment, and share.